quite simply the finest actor of his generation. I'm not saying that because he's here. Wow. Benedict Cumberbatch. Thank you very much. Oh, that, oh, that, that was a wonderful introduction, isn't Thank it? You. Really? Was that a little bit too obsequious? I'll take it. You'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, to um, your new film, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, is out next week. I, earlier on, I tried to explain the concept of the multiverse to Amanda. Yes. You did? And well, I, well done. Because I'm I mean, in, I, I, I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm in it. As a mother and it. a busy woman, I would only know that a multiverse means you have to be in loads of places at once. Which Is, is that about that's right? Not bad. Actually, that's pretty much on the money. Okay. <laughs> there's, you... a, there's a lot going on at the same time, which again, like being a busy mother, is pretty familiar territory. <laughs> mm. um, if your children are different universes, then that's kind of it is. That's a good parallel kind of exemplifier, I think. Ooh. Because we met yeah. Doctor Strange uh, the last time we saw him was at the end of uh, No Way Home, the Spider-Man film. Yeah, it was. where he was, you know, again, I don't want to. I was nervous about revealing too much, but essentially. He was kind of, I guess his actions were to blame for the rift in the multiverse. Is they that, sort of were. Is that I mean, fair as far to as, say? Yeah, he was trying to help somebody who's not only, you know, a fellow soldier on the field, but then somebody he cares for as a kid, and he realises that bit too late. So he tries this very powerful spell to help Spider-Man. It all goes wrong. I mean, look, who hasn't seen this film who's listening to this? I'm not going to go through the whole plot of Spider-Man. But, <laughs> but basically, that. at the end, there's this rift between our universe and multiple universes that gives you a clue as to the kind what of realms next. that we're into yeah sure. and it's also a continuation of WandaVision with the brilliant Elizabeth Olsen who plays a pivotal role yeah. as the Scarlet Witch in this film. do you get that Amanda? Amanda? yeah good I'm across all of it he's yeah. I mean he's a complex character <laughs> And if you kind of go back through some he of the is. roles that you've done in the, through sort of Julian Assange and Alan Turing, is there a theme? They're all quite complex. I was going to say complicated. that. Complicated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Some are. Is that fair to say? Or I think so, I yeah. No, no, no. I think I think saying they're complex is not simplifying. <laughs> well, there you go. But do you think producers go, this guy's a weirdo, get Cumberbatch on the phone? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Um, probably. That's why I turn a lot you of the stuff. You just described like, him as the greatest actor of our time. <laughs> now you're calling him a weirdo. No, the role. No, no I would never. Oh, I think um, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not worried about complexity. You were up for best actor at the Oscars. I was criminally ignored. Who won it again? I can't remember. I don't know. It was a quite dramatic mm, night, wasn't it? I seem to remember. Know. How How did you feel when you saw that infamous slap? Uh, pretty taken aback, yeah. Mm. I did, I'm really confused, actually, in the moment. I thought it was a gag. I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't see the contact. I just sort of saw the reaction to it, and mm. I've done stunts on camera. I thought, oh, they've just sold a, I think a, a, lot a, of a us... stunt for a bit. And then he said what he said when he got back to the chair, and it, the room, the temperature just dropped out of it. Mm. It was it was horrible. It was a very ugly moment. Another one of your much-loved characters, Sherlock Holmes. Yes. I read big, that... Big subject. <laughs> I, know, I was just about to talk about Saturday Night Live, like anything to keep it light. No, 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 this is good. <laughs> I wanted Sherlock's to mention light. Sherlock because uh, <laughs> I heard way. that Sherlock will, would come back, but only if you agreed to do the role. Now, is that like blackmail? Or I think... I, well, I mean... I, no, I don't, I don't, that, again, I don't, I don't remember anything. Like, but, I, but I would say it's about everyone wanting to do it and having the right time to do it and it being good enough to do. Um, would you do it again, though? I've, I, like I always say, I'd never say never. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff going on in my life and Martin's life <laughs> and the production company's life and Stephen and everyone else who created that show, um, you know, The Virtues and, and Mark Gatiss. So we'll see. We, we've all as a team said, look, when it's right and if it's right, we'll, we'll do it. Sure. Next month, you are hosting Saturday Night Live. I know. That is hugely yeah. exciting. It's very exciting. I'm kind of, yeah, it, it's terrifying. Yeah, exciting. exactly. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I have done it once before, so I suppose it won't all hit me with the shocker than you. Mm. But um, it's, it's, it's the weirdest thing about it is you get to it and you think, okay, right, this is the big day and you've rehearsed bits of it. And then you film the night before, up until five in the morning with all the, you know, the VT stuff, all the sort of recorded sketches. Ooh. And then you don't, do the show until something like 10 or 11 30 i can't even remember the time and i kind of blanked that bit out of the call sheet last time i did it <laughs> so we did the dress and the, the tech in front of the cameras and they're like okay uh, and then it's show time and i said uh, now and they went no in about four hours and i was like oh, i'm gonna be dead by the I, just the adrenaline it's just like you, you go so high and then you have to sort of contain it and it's amazing though and it's yeah. such a great cast and you can have such fun with that opening monologue and i'm introducing arcade fire who are I mean, they really are up there. It's one of my all-time favourite favourite mm. bands. Brilliant. Um, and what so about comedy like generally? Is that something... Because I'm racking my brain to think... Have I done any comedy? Well, yes. Yeah, well, I would say that Sherlock's very funny. Yeah. Uh, 
Mm, you know, it was a bit hit and miss, as we know. I won't go into that. But I, I, w- I would say... Um, <laughs> it's one for the post, <laughs> yeah, not. But no, I like humour in everything I do. I mean, Strange is a funny character to play. For all of his seriousness, he's quite dry. And yeah, he's yeah. pretty snarky as well. Yeah. He's quite enjoyable. Is it tricky rude. to find comedy in a character like Strange? Or, or like no, as- no. I mean, I have a lot of time. I mean, listen, I haven't seen the film, and who knows? They might have ironed it all out. But you, <laughs> you have a lot of fun doing improv and mucking about and making your director and crew and the cast laugh and... In character, sometimes not, um, but mainly in character. And yeah, I think there's always been an element of comedy, but like an out and out rom com or something just purely, oh, it is a comedy. I suppose I haven't done one since Start of a Ten. That was quite a funny film, though. Yeah, James Gallagher. I was young when I saw that film. <laughs> that was back in the mists of time. Do you know how many films you've been in? Uh, somebody told me recently. A hundred. Really? really are coming up to 100, apparently. It, Com- someone credits. said 90, and I was like, I can't be right. I, I think ni- <laughs> something. I think it's 90 roles, definitely not 190 no. films. Like half that at least. 20 years, though, I think now you've been, I've been doing it for a bit now. Yeah. 45. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, when I was a young. Well, look, we're going to try and put, uh, put you to the test. We're going to give you a randomly generated character. Okay. And then we're going to g- generate a scenario, and you have to see if you can put that character in that scenario. Does that make sense? It goes my months and months of research. And... So uh, I'm going to give you a character. Your character is. An old man. Hello. <laughs> Nailed. Trying to do TikTok. Tick what? Oh, um, where's my glasses? Uh, I deleted it. I've deleted it. Ben, I've deleted it. Can you come here and help me? Uh, <laughs> look, if I just... Look, can't you do this for me? Oh, no, here it is. Wait a minute. Oh, what's this? WhatsApp? Wait. Oh, yes, I think I've done it. Is that it? Boomerang? What's a boomerang? <laughs> Isn't that something you throw? <laughs> Oh, for the love of God. Brilliant. Very, good. Very good. My Very poor good. dad. That was my dad. Oh, Hence my oh, name. Oh. Yeah, he's not on TikTok. Okay, another character, please. Yeah. Oh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump trying... Ordering a coffee. A, uh, uh, I wish you could see co- the lips. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of lip action. Great, great. I like a great latte <laughs> with lots of sugar and cream. Great. It's going to be great. We're going to have a great latte. I'm going to sprinkle things like turn that phone off. <laughs> oh my God. That's my husband. This is the president. <laughs> it's your agent. Get him out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that uh, was so good. I'm so uh, sorry about that. We've got time for one more. We've got time for one more. Donald Trump spies. Oh, here we go. Boris Johnson. Let me move on. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Johnson. <laughs> Apologising. Oh yes. I'm deeply apologetic. I'm 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 apologetic as deep as my uh, 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 my my deep things. Um, um, I don't have many. I'm pretty um, undeep, but um, I have a deeply troubling way of um, apologising and still being here. That's deeply deep. Um, uh, <laughs> well, I, well um, in, in the words of uh, the great Latin ruler Excess Marus, um, Principe Poo Poo. Yes. 